you probably saw some characters with insane amount of details and thought how they achieve it. They're definitely not on max multi-res with billion vertices, cause that would be so hard to work with. That's why they usually use normal maps, displacement maps and other stuff. But even if you bake an 8k normal map into a UV tile, you still wouldn't get much details out of it. Since there's so many things going on in that UV tile that the pixel density gets really low. But what if I tell you you can add multiple UV tiles using something called UDIMS. This way you can have individual UV tiles for each part of the body, resulting to much higher quality maps for each section. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can do that in Blender. But before we go, full real time version of this tutorial from sculpting the skin, UV unwrapping and baking is available on my Gumroad. There are also a lot of other tutorials and some cool add-ons I've made like iForge and Haircard Studio where you can easily make customizable eyes and haircuts in seconds. Definitely check those out if you're into character design. Link is in the description. Let's go. First thing first, you need a character with a decent topology, none of that messy stuff. If you haven't retopologized your character, watch these two videos I put on the top right corner. After that, remove the other textures if you have one and create a new one. Name it something like UDIMS and set the resolution of your choosing. Here you can enter lower resolution cause instead of having big maps, we're gonna have multiple maps. The difference here is you have to enable the tiled option before clicking on new image. Now in the UV editor on top, switch to texture you just made. Press N to bring out the right menu. There should be UDIMS tile section. It only appears when you create a tile texture. To add more tiles, click on this plus icon. Then enter the amount of tiles you wanna add. If we type in 1, it will add one more UV tile to our UV. Now if we click on plus again and enter another number, let's say 4 for example. Now we have 4 extra tiles which makes it 5 tiles with the original one. Now we're gonna unwrap our model into these UV tiles. But in order to do that, we need the model fully mark themed. I've explained the full process in this video. I put it on the top right corner. After you mark seam the model, you just have to press A to select all, then press U and unwrap angle based. Then it automatically unwraps the mesh. You can go to UV editor from the top or on the top left corner, make sure you're on UV editor. As you switch to UV editor, you can see the UV piled up in the first tile of the UDIM. These are our individual body parts we need to organize. To select these, just hover the mouse over them and press L and press G to move them somewhere in the second UV tile. After you place it, go back and select the other side of the legs. We can rotate and place it somewhere around here. Maybe skate it up so it can fill the tile. And remember, the bigger the better. Then select this one and try to fit it as best as you can. After that, select the hands and bring them to the third UV tile. We got one more hand and two more feet that we should bring here. We can press L on each of them to select them one by one. Then bring them to this side. We can rotate and scale each of them to fit all of them better in our UV tile. You see, the less wasted space you have in your UV tile, the more pixel density you will get on each of these textures. After that, go ahead and select the torso, then bring it to the fourth tile. Let's bring the back of the body too. Let's not forget about the arms. Let's bring them somewhere around here, but it kind of seems like a waste if we dedicate a full UV tile to this one alone. So let's squeeze them somewhere else, like here, in this free space between the legs. Now we're left with the head. It kinda has some useless free space that we can use later for other things we might add, like the eyes, iris, sclera, and other things. As you can see, there's two more UV tiles we haven't used yet. We don't need them anymore. So you can press N to bring out the menu again, and in the image, just select the last one and click on minus, and it will be removed. Something else we can do is to go to overlay settings and enable UV stretch. This way we could see the stretching on the UV. The dark blue means it's in its best condition. The more it moves towards the green and yellow, meaning it's getting worse and worse. And the UV is stretched. So in order to fix it, you can pick up grab tool to manually change the shape of the UV until it gets darker in color. Like the part in the bottom of the crutch where it's 
kind of distorted. We can use the relax tool and start smoothing out these faces. You can see there are some areas where it's getting lighter in color. To make it better, we can use a small drag brush to reform these faces until they get darker in color. It might be a bit finicky, so try a bit more. Look for more areas that are distorted or lighter in color and try to fix them using grab tool. Using a small brush can help in these areas. Once we were done with the UVs, we can go back to shader editor and start the baking process. First, let's change the color space to non-color because we're going to use this image texture as our normal map. In the render settings, while it's on cycles, scroll down and find the baking section. Set the bake type to normals. Now, since I have multi-res modifier on my model and I sculpted everything on a higher subdivision of the multi-res, I enable bake for multi-res. This makes things much easier. Before clicking on bake, if you have a multi modifier on your model too, go ahead and enable this button. But before clicking on bake button, make sure the model is selected and the UDEM image texture is also selected. This assures the normal map will be baked on this image texture. After that, click on bake. It will take few minutes based on your PC specs, so chill out for a second. And as you can see, we got all the details we sculpted on the normal map. Especially we got some nice juicy small details on the fingers, which we definitely wouldn't get without using UDIMs. What if you haven't used multi-res? That means you should have two models, one higher poly model with the full details and one retopologized model with lower poly count. The higher detail one doesn't need to have good topology, so don't worry, only the lower poly version is important. In order for the baking to work, both should be in the same place inside each other. Now in the baking section, while it's on normal, enable selected to active and increase the extrusion to something like 0.5. Make sure to select the low poly retopologized model, then the higher poly one. And don't forget to select the UDEM image texture. Once you had all these selected, click on bake and you'll have the similar results as Multires in a few minutes. From the UV editor, go to image, save as and save it somewhere. The fun thing here is that it automatically saves all the images with the correct name. That makes it much easier to import. For example, if you want to use your baked UDIM image, you can just open one of them and it will load all the UDIM images in one image texture. Now shift A and add a normal map node. Then connect the UDIM image texture to the normal map and the normal map to the normal of our main principal shader. Then let's switch to render so we can see our normal map in action. My lights are turned off, so let's turn them on and place them somewhere so we can actually see what's happening. If we zoom into the hands, we can see the insane amount of skin details. Also, if you think it's too much, you can simply decrease the strength number of the normal map. And that's it. Now you have a fully unwrapped character with a detailed normal map that you can use basically anywhere you want. And since the character is lower poly, it's pretty light and workable for animations, games, etc. Hope you find this video helpful. Make sure to check out my Gumroad and Patreon to download the real-time version of these tutorials and also the add-ons I've made. Link is in the description. See you on the next one. Peace.